this is JD. Welcome to my channel. What do we have here? We have a pocket watch. A pocket watch. This is the American Watch Company Waltham. AWC Waltham pocket watch. This is an old pocket watch and I acquired this from a gentleman for not a lot of money but I don't think it's working. So this is uh, usually not a good sign but it's got a nice little case here so the case is uh, opens like this it has um, it is lever set so if i pull this lever out i'm likely going to be able to set this watch let me see if i can do this with gloves on Let's see if i can do this with gloves on here we go the lever is out now he told me that the crown is not working properly so i go backwards with this it sort of catches it doesn't catch it's kind of crappy right so now it stops catching so it's likely some gears that are broken in here or teeth that are off or something, right? So it's not working really well from that perspective, right? Um, it, it doesn't really wind that well either. It seems to get caught. So again, I think broken teeth maybe. Not, sh not, qu not quite sure. So I'm going to have to examine this watch and see what the heck is wrong with it. As you can see, the crown comes right out, right? And I'm not even sure if that crown is deep enough for winding this watch. I guess it is. But, uh, but this just pops right out, which is kind of crazy, right? And it just seems it's messy when you try to wind it, which means something's very wrong with this watch. And let's turn it around and look at the movement for a second. I wonder if I can open this with my fingernail. Yeah, look at that, eh? It's got a uh, nice old case. It doesn't have any markings on the case that I can see. Um, and it's got a dust cover on the case here and it looks like the um, balance is free which is nice it's ticking away there a little bit but the balance is free so I think there's an issue here with this uh, watch likely in the um, winding mechanism somewhere where it's not winding properly um, that needs to uh, needs to be fixed I'm not sure if a bench key would would work on this because you'd have to get the bench key all the way on the inside right so if i were to just measure this bench key against this particular thing here is that you know something is that's backwards then forward i'm getting a little bit of winding here with the bench key but it still feels really rough, so I shouldn't be forcing it because it'll force the teeth. And if there's problems with the teeth, then it's going to ruin the watch. So, so I'm going to have to strip this watch down. And um, it's a, let me look at this over here. It says W M Elliot, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what that says. Let's look at this close, up close. No, E L L E R Y. W M Ellery, Waltham, Massachusetts, safety pinion. I'm glad that the balance is um, swinging nicely, so that's uh, not going to be an issue for me. It looks like it's probably a 17 joule movement. I'm going to have to look this up, but you can see there's no joule on the um, second wheel. So if the mainspring barrel is the first wheel, the second wheel would be the one right next to it. and there is no jewel there at all. But the way this is, um, yeah, I know. That's not it. There's no jewel there, and there's also no jewel. Uh, let me see if I can point here. So there's no jewel right here. And if you look on the other side, right where my tweezers are pointing, right there, there's also no jewel. And that's where the escapement would be. So, so, it, so we're going to have to take this apart and have a look at it. I'm not going to do that today because it's time for dinner. Also, there's a screw on the top here, and this little screw on the top holds the uh, holds the crown and stem in. So this is what you normally do, and so so when the crown and stem come out, that's because the jewel or the screw on the top was not tightened, and that's why the crown and stem are able to just fall out, right? So if I tighten that, that'll keep this in the position, right? Now again, I don't know what's what's going on with this watch. I'm winding it a little bit here to see if I can... No, see that? Something's really wrong with that. Anyway, alright, so... 100 bucks later, that's what we got. 
So maybe it was not worth a hundred. Well, it was actually not. It was actually I think um, 150 working or something like that. That's not the retail value, but I do like the case. I do like the case. And I like the way it opens. Just got to get this in here, and I do like the dial is in perfect condition. It's got a sub dial and it's also lever set, which is a uh, Odd. I don't think it's railroad grade, but it does have 24 hours going around, so it might be a railroad grade watch. So we'll check that out. Um, but uh, for now, I'll just uh, close it down and thank thank you all for watching my channel. Thanks. This is JD here. Please subscribe to my channel. We're going to be repairing watches. Maybe not next week, but the week after for sure. Summer is over, and look at that little baby. It's ticking. Thanks a lot and catch you next time.